Hi everyone, Kinfinity here, and here's my review of the 2007 Underdog, <laughs> directed by Frederick Duchai, starring Jason Lee, Peter Dinklage, Jim Belushi, Patrick Warburton, <laughs> Alex Newberger, a uh, perfect save, excuse me. <laughs> Taylor Momsen, John Slaughtery, <laughs> Amy Adams, and Brad Garrett. And in this J. Wool, <laughs> forgettable underdog of an adaptation, we have this dedicated police dog who didn't sniff out the next biggest bomb. One of those bomb smelling dogs, right? So um, he accidentally, you know, is taken by Cad, the dedicated, the dedicated assistant. To the one and only Dr. Simon Bar, Bar Sinister. <laughs> I mean, he really could be a Baron, but he's Simon Bar Sinister. And we meet this dedicated former police officer who's the best security guard, according to him. You know, he's played by according to, according to him. <laughs> I used to watch that show according to him. So this dedicated <laughs> security guard, you know, he takes in this dog. Yeah, cause um, cause um, shoot, uh, he runs out. We don't have a name yet for his awesome dog, but he runs out from the bar sinister. Oh, the shot who that gives him the flight of an eagle, straight over right, all these different animals, <laughs> literally. So he runs out. He meets up with this dedicated, uh, security guard who's also a father, and Jack. He cannot have the worst doctor excuse again. <laughs> So now he's got to take care of this dog. Hey, if you call him shit, look, he's trying to shoe, shoe shine. Yeah, you know, like, don't you just get a buffer to do that? Like, Jack, like, come on. <laughs> but Jack comes home from school. Everything's the biggest mess. Finally, shoe shine. You can understand me? Oh, <laughs> we get to know each other. And um, in order for Jack to get to know the best, um, you know, the best, the best uh, young lady who's a journalist at school. And that comes in handy, of course. It's superhero news. He's a journalist for a school server. And uh, her dog is Molly. I need to have her name. But they're the best owners, best owners. And also, Shoeshine, he got away from the other dogs. You know, the other police dogs. Mainly Riff Raff, but he got away from them. And now, Cad has to go through all of the Bar Sinister rings. To get shoe shine back, <laughs> yeah, and um, puts up of course lost dog. Yeah, I'm looking for my lost dog. Yeah, and um, Jack is realizing how he used to get a costume for shoe shine <laughs> while keeping his grandfather known as the one who is talking while putting the couch back in place, and of course. Cad had to rebuttal. You you have your you have your blind grandfather moving your living room couch. Yeah, it was either that or repaint the walls. Well, bye. Then <laughs> Jack is just always nonchalant, but look at no more doctor notes. Yay! <laughs> so now they have to use Jack's dad's old bat old uh, high, a college sweater, and now we have. Our underdog, underdog. <laughs> it's so perfectly operatic and just hilarious heroic. Yes. So underdog now is saving people and burning building. And he's still getting that catchphrase. Until we get, there's no need to fear, underdog is here. Nailed it. And now you cannot believe Cad. Man, barely seeming sweet like like your nicest like your nicest old lady with number one butterscotch <laughs> dressed like an old lady, and he has a dog on the leash, but he's going on the <laughs> but he's going on the joyride. Underdog whips through all the mailboxes and cat oh! <laughs> you know his scream, man. But sinister is just getting started. So, um, uh, as underdog, she goes, uh, because Shoeshine and Polly know each other since Jack and, um, the sweetest school reporter, they know each other, right? And, um, actually, underdog helped them before he officially became underdog, you know, because there was a mugger, and she had to describe, got the sketch artist 
man, a werewolf before me. <laughs> like, like who was the who who helped him? You know, so like he's like it's a dog werewolf because it's a sketch artist. So they got to stop Bar Sinister at the Capitol. So now we're at the Capitol after the death. You know, it's like what now? Who's got extra chili to clean up? How this how the but he finds out from the worst Bar Sinister. His <laughs> shoe shine. And then I don't want to give it away, but at the very end, they're at the Capitol finally, and they save the mayor. Then all of these, they they sniff all that's they're living these bomb dogs. <laughs> they're just bomb, and they stop all of the worst press from getting out with the bomb, not getting just buried ten feet deeper than the celebratory bowl. Now to be delicious for shoe shot. <laughs> <laughs> so they get to celebrate with just having the charred bar sinister. This isn't over. <laughs> and Cad, yeah, I'm not taking any new applications. We need a new secret out in place, boss. <laughs> oh, he still is bar sinister's Cad, Caddy. <laughs> You know, everything evil, Caddy. Yeah, and all the dogs are now finally against Bar Sinister. Yeah, you never gave us any, you know, uh, you know, uh, engineer treats. <laughs> Supernaturally, artificially delicious treat. Artificial. Oh, <laughs> look at Adam. So it's such a fun adaptation. I mean, there's so many adaptations of this specific animation. Hilarious, unforgettable. And I reviewed Rocky and Bullwinkle not too long ago with a rabbit out of my head. So it's awesome to get the underdog of his creations, basically, and just have fun with how, you know, they could have had a little bit more of the suspense. Oh, man, what all can shoe shine with? He's a dog. So because like, it's more like, you know, how we can overcome that. And a little bit more of Jack, you know, getting out of the whatever. Teenage moniker. <laughs> and his dad stepping back up. Because he's a police officer at heart. But he had become a security guard. And they joke about more stepping up. So just more of them you know, coming out of what we think they are. But it was a fun adaptation. It was so much fun. It's so wonderful. Please let me know what's your favorite under... You know, what's your favorite unexpected... What's your favorite unexpected adaptation that you really like? Yes, yeah, so please subscribe to the notification bell. And we are underdogs. We just last to infinity.